Most of us grew up thinking our solar system was a quiet, predictable place. Planets orbit the sun, comets swing by once in a while, and that's it. But lately, something has changed. Something is visiting from the deep, silent dark between the stars, and it shouldn't exist. Astronomers call it 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever discovered. And what makes it truly strange? is that it's not behaving like anything we've ever seen before. To understand how unusual this is, let's rewind a bit. In 2017, the first visitor, Oumuamua, streaked through our solar system. It wasn't a comet or an asteroid, it was something in between. Two years later came 2i slash Borisov, a clear interstellar comet that looked more traditional but had alien chemistry. And now, in 2025, comes 3i slash Atlas, the third visitor. But this one. This one breaks every rule. It started with the Atlas Survey in Chile, an automated system designed to spot dangerous near-Earth asteroids. On an otherwise quiet night, it picked up an object moving across the sky that didn't fit any known orbital pattern. This wasn't just another comet. This thing was not orbiting the sun. It was simply passing through. And that means one thing it came from another star. For only the third time in human history, we had confirmed an interstellar visitor. But this time, astronomers noticed something off. Something they couldn't easily explain. Atlas was fast, roughly 26 to 30 kilometers per second, but oddly, not as fast as it should be. Most rogue interstellar objects travel at blistering speeds, flung out of their home systems by gravitational chaos. They usually screen through our solar system and vanish forever. But Atlas seemed calm, almost controlled. Its motion didn't look random or chaotic. It looked like it was riding something invisible, following a smooth, stable path, as if it were moving along a cosmic current. That's when some astronomers proposed a radical idea, Atlas might be part of a dynamically cold interstellar stream, a river of objects quietly drifting together through our part of the galaxy. Within 72 hours, the entire astronomy world shifted focus. Hubble, Gemini North, and the James Webb Space Telescope were all redirected to capture the mysterious traveler. As usual, the scientific community split into camps. Theory 1, the lights were just ice chunks, fragments of CO2 and dust vented by the comet's jets as it warmed near the sun. That happened sometimes, natural, predictable, nothing mysterious. Theory 2, the bright points were simply background stars blurred by Hubble's tracking. When the telescope follows a moving target, distant stars appear smeared into streaks. Easy misunderstanding. Theory 3, the comet was actually fragmenting in real time, splitting apart as we watched. And that's where things get truly strange. Because interstellar objects are survivors. They've drifted through the frozen void for millions of years. If one suddenly begins breaking apart now, inside our solar system, something has changed. When JWST locked its instruments onto Atlas in early August, what it found shocked everyone. The spectrum didn't show the usual signature of water ice that dominates comets from our solar system. Instead, it revealed something extraordinary, carbon dioxide, and lots of it. 88% CO2, the highest ever recorded in any comet anywhere. That means this object formed in a place far colder than the outer edges of our solar system, a region where water can't even freeze, but CO2 can. To put that in perspective, imagine a world so cold that carbon dioxide becomes solid rock. For decades, humanity has dreamed of sending probes to other stars, to collect samples, to study their chemistry. But now, for the third time, the universe sent the samples to us. If those smaller lights around Atlas are real fragments, each one is a piece of that alien system. Each chunk contains clues about how other stars form planets, how their chemistry works, how their building blocks differ from ours. It's like finding meteorites from a world that orbits another sun. Except these aren't buried in the ground, they're still traveling through space, right past us. And just when scientists thought they'd seen it all, Atlas broke the rules again. Its trajectory doesn't perfectly follow gravity. When they ran the orbital models, accounting for the sun, planets, and all known forces, something didn't add up. 
and if Atlas is breaking apart, those fragments might eventually fall into our atmosphere, microscopic dust carrying traces of another star's DNA. Its behavior, the structure, the chemistry, the strange velocity, the multiple lights, all push it slightly higher. Not proof of anything artificial, but a reminder that we may not yet understand what natural even means in the cosmic sense. Every discovery like this forces us to rethink what we know about the universe. For centuries, humans looked up and thought the stars were distant, untouchable. Now, we're realizing those stars can send us messages, in the form of wandering travelers like Atlas. The universe has begun sending us visitors. And 3i slash Atlas might just be the messenger we've been waiting for. Is Atlas just another frozen wanderer, or the first clue to a hidden network of cosmic travelers passing through our galactic neighborhood? Drop your theory in the comments below. And if you love exploring deep space mysteries, ancient anomalies, and discoveries that rewrite everything we know about reality, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because next week, we're diving into what astronomers just discovered when Atlas went dark for three hours, and came back moving twice as far.